Hello loves, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, today's video is going to be how to be or appear more confident. And just a quick disclaimer before I start, not everybody feels confident every single day. There are days that everyone has where they don't feel their best, they don't feel their prettiest, their smartest, whatever it is, but these are tips to help elevate yourself or at least appear elevated to other people and then maybe make yourself start believing it. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this video and let's get into it. My first tip on how to appear more confident is to fake it until you make it. I always say this and I probably said it in previous videos as well, but if you fake your confidence, if you act like you're all that, not in a cocky way and not to, like don't overdo it, but if you act in a certain way around other people, then they will perceive you that way and then you will start to perceive yourself that way because the more you try and act like you're something, you can trick your brain into thinking you actually are that thing and then suddenly that's it's just who you are. My next tip is to have a positive mindset and this is things like do not talk down onto yourself, do not say it in your head or out loud, I'm ugly, I'm dumb, all of those negative things. Just avoid negativity in general because negativity can give you wrinkles. Instead, tell your brain good things about yourself. You can say it in your head, but it's even better if you say it out loud. Look yourself in the mirror and say, I am beautiful, I am smart. It might sound a bit cringy. Why would I look at myself in the mirror and tell myself these things? But honestly, it actually does work and you will start to feel a lot better about yourself, especially if you're in a bad mood or you're having a bad day. You just need to relax and remember Remind yourself of who you are and that you're a great person you have so much to offer you deserve a good life just all of these positive affirmations and having a positive mindset being a positive person will just automatically make you appear more confident because if you're just negative about everything you're negative about life about yourself about school whatever it is then people will just think that you're negative to yourself as well or at least that's definitely what I think about people and happiness is also a key to being confident. My next tip is just don't compare yourself to others and I know it's so much easier said than done because everybody does it, everyone will see this seemingly perfect supermodel online or this girl on TikTok and think, I wish I had her nose, I wish I looked like this, whatever it is. Boys and girls can compare themselves to other people, but especially with girls, it's just so common. And at the end of the day, no one's perfect as much as you think other people might be. There is always something about someone that they don't like about themselves, whether it's physically or their personality or just things in their life that they don't like. Everybody is insecure about something. So just because someone looks a certain way, don't assume that their life is perfect and they are just perfect because everybody has their own issues and everyone is dealing with things on their own. So just don't compare yourself to others because you never know what is going on in someone's life. We should really be focused on the inside as well. My fourth tip is honestly something that I need to work on the most out of everything I'm gonna tell you in this video and it's learn to say no to people. Don't automatically free yourself up for people. If you're in a friend group that is leaving you out but one day they decide, oh, come out with us or they will be the last person to invite you, say no. Say that you're busy or that you don't wanna go. Honestly, just say anything but say no. You don't always have to be at everyone's beck and call. Take some time away from your phone, take some time away from people and just reestablish yourself. If you're someone who always says yes to absolutely everything, whether it's good or bad, like for example, if your friend is gonna get in trouble and they ask you, can you take the fall for me? Or, oh, can you lie and say this and this and this? Say no. It doesn't make you a goody goody two shoes. It just means that you have self pride and you're not gonna sacrifice something of your own for someone else. And this is not me saying to say no to everything and start being a no person because I love being a yes person in the fact that I'm, I'm always ready to try new things, experience new things, but it's not every single thing that you have to say yes to. You're not obligated to anybody. Fifth tip is more personal and internal, and that is to believe in yourself. Believe that you're a lot of positive things. This also comes into the positive mindset thing. Don't let anybody else put you down or try and speak negatively on you when that's just not who you are. Always, always, always have faith in yourself and believe in who you are, believe in every single thing that you do, because so many people are gonna come and say, you can't do this, you'll never be good at this, but you need to prove them wrong and you need to prove yourself right that actually no, I can do this. I can do whatever I put my mind to. My sixth tip is confidence is quiet, insecurity is loud. And what I mean by this is that typically people who are really insecure in themselves and just 
are not in a happy place will always be negative about other people. They can just say really nasty things about people's appearance, about people's lives, about people's personalities, especially if they don't truly know that person. They are just very quick to be pessimistic. But if you are a confident person and if you are someone who loves yourself and you're happy within yourself, there is no need to ever put anybody else down or be negative. If you are happy and fulfilled within yourself, then you will always just be focusing on yourself and how to better yourself rather than critiquing other people who didn't ask for it. And the same thing goes for a different type of scenario where you can have a friend that is constantly saying, I'm so ugly, I'm so fat. Like there is, that is just unattractive in general. You don't have to say your insecurities out loud. You don't have to be like, oh, I hate this about myself. Especially if nobody asked, like, not in a harsh way, but just don't openly say negative things about yourself or about other people because ultimately that's just a reflection on who you are and people will automatically assume that she's not happy with herself, she's jealous, she's a negative person. You don't want any of those connotations around your name. My seventh tip is to focus on your strengths, physically and mentally. Okay, the video actually cut out because my storage is literally full, but anyways, for example, your physical strengths. Let's say your genes, for example. Don't try and change yourself, but just enhance what you already have. And then mentally focus on what you're really, really good at, whether it's a sport, whether it's an academic subject, whether it's baking, something, just anything that you're really passionate about and that you're really good at, make sure to elevate it because it makes you come across a lot more intelligent if you really focus and get very good at what you love and it just helps you to be perceived in a better way. My eighth tip is to realize your self-worth. There are so many methods to do this, whether it is positive affirmations, you know, not comparing yourself. I feel like a lot of these points actually do go hand in hand, but realizing your self-worth is just about, again, making sure that you're not always available to people. Just boost your own value and self-esteem as a person. You know, that you deserve to be treated with respect. You deserve a good life. You deserve a lot of good things and that you're very hard working half of being confident is honestly just about positivity in my personal opinion i think that a positive person no matter what the case is a positive person will always be perceived as more confident and more happy within themselves as a negative person so i don't really know if i explained that point properly enough just realize who you are have self-respect for yourself create boundaries and set boundaries for certain people that you can't cross this line you can't be disrespectful as a joke those kind of things because when you establish those things it will make you personally more happy and confident but also other people will know you can't cross this line with her ninth point is honestly one of my most important ones body language fix your body language stuff like that means to sit up straight and have i saw this one thing on tiktok it was literally like two seconds long about how to fix your posture in seconds and honestly i've been doing it so much over summer that i feel like when i go back to school i'm not going to be slouched over my chair like this anymore so to straighten yourself up push your shoulders up like this push them back and then drop them so do you see the before and then the after is just so much better you look a lot more assertive when your back is straight. Don't slouch yourself into a corner. Don't cover your stomach with your arms or cover anywhere with your arms because this just looks very closed off and not very approachable. But if you have open body language or just normally and not closing yourself off, it just makes you appear to be more open. And honestly, I do this in class a lot, especially if I'm sick of the lesson, but I'm trying to work on that. Just don't hide yourself and Another thing that is really big with people and girls my age, especially, is covering your face in pictures, whether it's like this or like this, or just covering your face with some sort of action. It's okay sometimes, like if you've got a specific idea in mind for a really cute picture where you're all going like this, or I don't really know, that's okay. But if you are consistently covering yourself and hiding yourself away from cameras, then people are gonna assume that you don't like how you look. Even if you think you look bad in a picture, never admit that to anyone. Obviously, if there's a picture that you really don't want posted, make sure that you have friends that are willing to delete it and retake pictures if you don't feel like you look good enough. But at the same time, if you're just nitpicking and you zoom into pictures and you zoom into a spot you have or something that you did with your eye just don't do things like that don't nitpick and focus on the good things about yourself because everybody has more positive than negative things about themselves so just again focus on the positives and don't be negative towards yourself and don't be too critical of your physical appearance because it's what's inside that makes people like you my 10th and final tip 
is to smile and i know this is just very simple and you're probably thinking what does smiling have to do with confidence but you would be surprised how your face can literally light up when you start smiling and kind of practice smiling while you're talking and even if you're insecure about your teeth or you don't like your smile you don't like your lips whatever it is not only does smiling lift your face it actually lifts your mood as well because if you think about it when you're smiling and laughing and having a good time then you are happy but if your face is always stoic and just very monotone then you just don't look as approachable you don't look happy i know a lot of people's resting faces just aren't as nice as when they smile like i know i prefer my face when i smile to when i have my resting face and honestly the more you smile the more people will notice it and you'll just glow from within it doesn't matter if there's something that you don't like about your face or you don't like about your teeth whatever it is that is causing you not to smile just smile anyway you don't even have to smile with your teeth even if you smile with your mouth closed it just makes a difference to your face people will just perceive you as happier more confident more sure of herself things like that like there are so many people who compliment me on my smile because i'm always smiling and i just look better and more confident when i'm smiling and i have a happy expression on whereas when my face is like this can you can just tell the difference that just the atmosphere when you talk just isn't the same as when you're smiling and when you're not so that is actually all of my tips on how to become more confident or to appear more confident i hope that these find you well and that you can really take something from this video because this is something that I talk to absolutely everyone about. Obviously, I'm no master at being confident because there are still days that I don't feel as good about myself, but nobody has to know that, you know? You don't have to make it obvious that you don't feel good about yourself that day. Let me know if you like videos like this or the advice and the tip videos that I do because I love filming them. So if you have any other video recommendations, please let me know. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.